Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with something a little bit special today. I finally cracked into my foil quilt pen and um, now I'm just going to take you through what I'm doing. So I decided to use acetate, my first time cutting with acetate on my Cameo. Um, but I'm just basically setting up my foil on my mat on top of the acetate for my foil and cut project. So um, I've popped down my acetate which fits the size of my cut file and I'm just sizing down my foil as well, this is We Are Memory Keepers foil quill. So the biggest tip I can give you from what I have learned is uh, make sure that your uh, foil is laid down as flat as possible. If there are any creases or air bubbles and stuff, this can lead to the foil not foiling properly. So I'm doing the top and the bottom with the washi tape that's provided in the kit. And I'm going to go ahead on the side and you can see I'm just kind of attaching it to the, the foil and then pulling it and then adhering it to my mat. So I'm going to do the same to the side and there we go, I've got a really reasonably uh, flat foil. So now I've loaded my um, foiling and my acetate into my cutting mat. I've set up my foil coil pen. I'm using the fine tip one, I have all three and I've plugged it into an external source and I've put my little metal plate underneath and I'm just going to let that heat up for about five minutes. So now I can work on um, basically setting up my design and my silhouette space. So this is how I cut. I'm just taking through all the settings. Um, I'm going to do the first layer first which will be the foil. You want to do that first and then you're going to um, let it do its thing, let it foil the design and then remove the foil and the uh, washi tape after it's foiled and then let it cut. The important thing to do if you're going to foil and cut is do not remove the mat from the machine um, once it's done. Do not unload it otherwise you'll lose the um, cutting alignment. So this is how I've done it. I've got it online. I'm selecting my blue tool which will be the blue items. That'll be my foil design and these are the settings I've used and it came out perfectly. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to send that off to the machine. My um, foil quill is ready. I've left it for about five minutes to heat up and then you remove the little metal plate and you let it do its thing. So here we go. It's just kind of going along, foiling the design and then I am going to stop, once it's done it will stop, I will carefully peel off that washi tape and foil which wasn't too bad and you can see that where I've had the washi tape, I've had it over a little bit too far, it's not foiled, that's okay, that's not a big deal for me but that's a thing for you to be mindful of is that your washi tape doesn't cover where your design is going to be. So my butterflies came out beautifully, so now to cut them. I'm going to deselect that blue tool, tool number two, and I'm going to deselect the red one. Just select my correct cut settings. Um, I couldn't find acetate for the life of me. <laughs> um, so I just use cardstock heavy, um, I think it's 90 to 120 something pound, um, and acetate cut fine. So. Um, yeah. If you want really detailed instructional videos, there are plenty out on YouTube, I, like there's so many that I don't feel like I need to do it, but um, there we go. It's cutting beautifully and I ended up with some really pretty gold foiled acetate butterflies, so I'm just peeling them off the mat here. Now the thing to be mindful of, and this is what I thought would probably happen, is I ended up with some kind of sticky adhesive from my mat <clears throat> on the back of the acetate. Um, that's to be kind of expected. So an easy fix is um, methylated spirits. If you're in New Zealand, um, just rub it on the back um, and that takes the adhesive off. Um, I'm not sure what you, what you would use in America, some type of alcohol. Um, starts with D, <laughs> um, but yeah, anything that you would use to take adhesive off would be great um, for the back of the butterflies. So I'm going to start kind of making a layout. Um, I'm using the new Rosie Studio Indigo Mist collection, and I thought at first I would back the butterflies with some pattern paper. Um, and so I've gone through the 6x6 paper pads and just cut out butterflies. I really could have used my cameo to cut them out, but I didn't really have a plan of where I was going with this layout. So um, that's why I did it by hand. And there wasn't many, there was only five, so it didn't take too, too long. So I'm just kind of trying to decide on a background now. And I tried a pen and paper. Um, for some reason I wasn't quite feeling it and so I went a little mixed media happy. I cut it out because it would have made this process video super long. 
uh, but suffice to say I don't end up using the mixed media layer and I go back to the pattern paper so I'm just trying to show you <laughs> a bit of my process here I want the butterflies to be something that's really elegant and not in your face in this um, page so um, I think that's what I'm kind of toying with here so I'm just messing around with them aren't they pretty they are really cool and the other thing that I did think of is you could foil them on a coloured cardstock and cut them out and have your own little foiled die cut butterflies I think that they would turn out beautifully you could use a thicker um, foil quill pen as well to get more foil on but uh, for this design I wanted them to be really nice and delicate like I said before Okay, so should we get to the cut file anyway? These are some super pretty butterflies. These are specifically made for the foil quill or you can use them with your sketch pen and they have a cut um, outline as well. There are two designs. I have a butterfly one that I have just popped up in the shop and there is also a heart and floral one that I've just popped up in the shop as well. So this is like a kind of a little extra special release and I think over time, I apologise for the noises. Yeah, so like I said, these are um, special releases, so there is two cut files that will be going up in the shop, and over time I will be adding to this um, section in my shop as well, so this will be for um, full quill users as well. So, um, yeah, some really fun designs coming your way soon, if you've got a foil quill. Um, yeah, so do pop over and check them out. Um, there's two there. Like I said already, I've just loaded them in the shop. So the thing to remember is also we have a little bit of a difference in the files. Um, for the foil core cool ones specifically, for Silhouette users, I have DXF files. Um, instead of using a PNG file and bringing it and tracing it, just because of the file nature, it's a little bit different. Um, I have DXF files. So these are ones that you can pretty much pull directly into your... Um, Silhouette Cameo Design Space and it has the lines already there. All you need to do is basically recolor them um, to the correct colors uh, if you want to. So yeah, it makes life super simple. Okay. Okay, so now I can kind of get to the layout. I've ended up and settled on this uh, pink uh, watercolorish with lines and <laughs> background for my pattern paper. And the photo I've got is of Edison. She's starting her first day at four-year-old kindy. Um, so she's in the big girls class and she's got her arms up and she's super excited and the colours in the photo went beautifully with this collection. We've got this lovely maroon top that she's wearing and dark blues and stuff so it all goes with the feel and of course it's in winter because um, her birthday's in winter, um, she's in June. So it's all kind of going with the feel of the collection and because her arms are up I thought oh, this would be a great opportunity to use the butterflies and have kind of this spray of um, a quirky little embellishments and stuff like that. Um, coming out the top of the photo um, it just kind of <laughs> like she's throwing up <laughs> all these fun things in the ears so that's the direction I'm heading at now you can kind of see me sifting through the die cuts for this collection um, trying to find things that will work those butterflies are definitely going to be up there um, it's just a matter of finding other pieces that I like the idea of so we've got a little cuckoo clock I love that clock in the die cut pieces so I've popped that in the left of the photo that's going to go with my title which will be time flies um, so it's kind of fitting in that and then we've got a bunch of other little random things we've got butterflies that goes with the flying feel and then we've got books and a dog and gum boots and all sorts of pretty little bits and pieces just things that you kind of associate with winter and with going to kindy and um, stuff like that some really sweet little sentiments too so I'm going for the wood veneer pieces here I love these wood veneer from um, Rosie Studio they're not the normal average kind of wood veneer you get they're not rough and wood and like really woody they feel almost plasticky they are lovely to work with and they are coloured um, so yeah <laughs> if you haven't tried the wood veneer from Rosie's definitely do give them a try because they are um, probably the only wood veneer I like to work with <laughs> if I'm honest they are really cool I'm just going to go through the little foam stickers now bring out another little book we've got some layered butterflies of course I'm going to make sure one of them gets on just going to find a spot for it I'm going to move that other book up and pop that butterfly there pop a little sentiment on it and a quick little look through the sticker sheet book found another little butterfly on there and I quite like this so I'm thinking I'm just going to move those flowers out I wasn't particularly a fan of them gosh I apologize for the noise we've got a plane flying over it is all go this morning we have two little girls running around 
um, Eddie and my niece and um, planes so it seems <laughs> okay so I pulled off that foam sticker sheet one of those uh, dark kind of maroon coloured flowers and then I've added some leaves from the die cut pack I just like those colour of those flowers a little bit better so I'm going to start to adhere everything down onto my layout now pretty sure I don't make you watch the entire process it's pretty simple for the acetate butterflies I just popped a little bit of ATG tape you'll see me doing it here down the centre of the butterfly and just popped it down and um, you really can't notice the adhesive um, not a problem with the adhesive there so that's just a little tip for you I'm just adding some stars to kind of fill in the spaces um, and that giant cluster I've got going on I found a little moon and stars I'm gonna pop that down on some foam just kind of bringing that shape of that cluster out a little bit so it's kind of more of an, an even spray I guess a few more stars these little buttons I think I mentioned before I'm not so I try to struggle with buttons so I tend to just flick the little epoxy d designs of the buttons and use them that way um, which I don't at all mind doing that I keep the little buttons in case I want to use them for something else um, but yes yeah, so that's what I'm doing there just flicking off a few, a few of those little um, epoxy sentiments some of these gorgeous little foil gemstones I'm going to scatter them around as well just for some more little sprinkles of things I'm just popping a little bit of glue under each of those little epoxy designs and the gemstones just to make sure they stay and I wanted something it was feeling a little bit too light I wanted something a little bit dark to kind of ground it so I thought about some layers and I ended up stacking this lovely maroon and wood grain on top of each other and I really quite like that it does make my design go on a little bit of an angle but I'm okay with that totally okay with that um, because it brings in a bit of um, a darkness just around the outside so um, I'm going to grab my um, Biscuits punch the border punch the notebook border punch here we go and I'm going to punch three sides sorry one side of that light pink and that dark maroon paper just so that it gives it uh, like the look that it's been torn out of a book so I'm going to do the same with the maroon as well just punch all of that And then I'm going to layer them on, on top. I did want to kind of add something in between those layers. And this little blue journaling spot wouldn't fit in my little punch. So a cheap way to get those little uh, torn out book page look is to use a whole punch. And then just take your scissors and snip those ends. And it looks like it's been torn out of a book. So if you don't have a notebook punch, there we go. Here's a tip for you. <laughs> okay, so just lay that in there just for a little pop of colour up there. Just trying to get it looking right and then I'm going to go and adhere these pattern papers down so just on two sides because I'm going to go and gut those two layers behind my initial page so that I don't waste that paper I'm not wasting all that wood grain and the maroon for that matter um, behind that layer so here I am I'm just going to cut off those two sides up to where it's adhered to the top and the left is one and then I can just use I've left my background paper there so that I can trim off that top layer first so that it will be square so I'm just done that tidied up that light pink layer I'm going to cut a little corner off that wood grain uh, just to fit in that spot there but then I've kind of cut the rest of the wood grain off so I'm just lining it up I'm just placing a little bit of glue and adhering that into place and there we go I think that adds a lot more to the layout now it's uh, not so light and bright okay I wanted some more little sprinklings of stuff because I just can't help myself so I've grabbed some white Nuvo drops and just uh, dotted a whole bunch of them around that giant cluster we've got going on and lastly some splatters of some white liquidex acrylic ink just kind of dropping that all around the page and on top of those acetate butterflies as well just for some more interest I didn't need more color just a little bit more interest so that's what I've gone with there just tidying up my layout and then I think that's pretty much it so I hope you enjoyed the process um oh I've got to put my title down as well <laughs> uh, don't mind me I haven't quite finished I do just pop the um the word time uh using the rosy stickers 
Rosie Studio uh, foam leather stickers that came with it and then I used these gold foiled ones to spell out flyers on the right hand side but then that's <laughs> that's the end of my process I apologize for the noisy video today um, voiceover uh, but yeah do pop over to the shop check out the two new designs that are in there and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow we've got 24 new Ocean Vibes um, releases going out in the shop we've got a bunch of inspiration next week for everyone um, from the design team and a guest designer so yeah until next time bye guys mm -hmm.